So everybody, I, I just want you to get a good look at what's happening out here. And um, uh, it, it just baffles my mind. Excuse me, I was just trying to eat lunch. Um, look at how many videos have been put out today <coughs> by these pastors. And um, talk, uh, having people on telling about what good experiences they've had there. It's like they're trying to do damage control now. Um, and here's the one thing that I want to tell you guys. You see, a couple of weeks ago or last week, I have no sense of time anymore, so I don't remember. But I gave the pastors, excuse me, I gave the pastors a message. The Lord said, repent. The Lord said, repent. Or he will allow you to experience what's coming for you. And what happened? At least Isaiah and uh, Vlad, they just kept coming back at me. They didn't repent for anything. Now they're, they're, they're trying to do damage control. And here's what I want to, want to tell you guys. This is all a part of the sleep. This really is all a part of the sleep because none of this was necessary. The fact that these people are constantly attacking other people. Uh, Mike Signorelli is out here doing it right now. Again, attacking New Age and having Vlad's do boy back on there. Well, it's, it's already been established that when he was, when he was uh, traipsing all of uh, Asia and India, he was um, high on drugs. He didn't learn anything. W what is he an expert of? Nobody knows, except these sleepers. Except these sleepers. All I could say is, I will not become one of these people. This is why I want nothing to do with Christianity. Uh, they're all doing the devil's work. Christians are in a massive sleep, and they need the most help to wake up right now. The Christians need the most help to wake now. So while these sleepers who are pretending to be pastors are out here pointing the finger at New Age and at the occult, they really should look at themselves in the mirror and try helping Christians wake up because Christians need the most help at this point. So none of this had to happen. You see, if all of them were living by God's word, instead of being the hypocrites that they are, they wouldn't be out here attacking people to begin with. This is why their message was repent. God is not first in their life. Satan is first in their life because they are of the world. They are of the world. And their, their only focus is to destroy an entire community of people who are also asleep, just like Christians are asleep. You see? It is, in fact, the mirror effect. It is the mirror effect. So, um, Mike Signorelli was out here again today attacking the occult and attacking the mystics community and using Vlad's Dubois, who knows absolutely nothing about anything, and um, just attack people. Is this what Christianity is? I would like to hear from some Christians. Is this what Christianity is? Is that what the Bible is teaching? Is for you to attack people? Or is it to turn the other cheek? Or, or is it to love God first and, and love your neighbor as yourself? Tell me, what Bible are you reading? What Jesus are you following? What, this is why you must, you must transcend religion. Because you've got all these evil demon pastors out here trying to make you believe that their hatred that they carry in their heart is actually what Jesus is telling you to do. I am going to put a video in the description by Lion of Judah who talks about what is the most dangerous place for a Christian to be. It is the place of intentionally committing sin, which is where all of these pastors are. And it's, it's really a shame. I hope all of them wake up. But I, I will not turn into one of them. That's all I can say. Um, it's, you know, when you're, when you're an awakened being, all you can see is their sleep. And why do people behave like this? They behave like this because they're afraid and fear does not come from God. That's all I can tell you because Satan is running their life. Satan is running their life. None of this had to happen. None of this had to happen. The most egregious thing that was done was attacking me using God's word. That was the most egregious thing that is done. So now, now damage control is going on. And why did any of this have to happen? 
why ask yourself why did any of this have to happen none of this had to happen if they were true spiritual people they wouldn't be behaving like people of the world and this is what you're witnessing right now i will put lion of judah's video in the description and i hope you all listen to it as you know lion of judah is a christian page listen to what they say about the most dangerous place for christians to be is in the mindset of intentionally committing sin that's where these pastors are and uh all, all I can ask anybody out here is to pray for them. Pray for them that they wake up and that they change and that they start putting God first. Or they will continue to experience what's coming for them. That was God's word. You guys have a blessed day.